everyone. So I've been trying to make a conscious effort to do things that help my mental health and just like taking time out for myself because life is so hectic. Um, I've made some time to write and read and just sit in cafes. I went to the Ormer Road last Friday for just like a wander around by myself. I didn't have any plan of like how the day was going to look, but I just thought I would wander, look in a few charity shops and maybe get like lunch and have it in the park. Um, and there's just so much like of a buzz in that area and it just feels like completely different to where I live for some reason. So I just felt like I needed to get some space and a break from like looking at our like local kind of surroundings. Um, so yeah, I went to a couple of charity shops. Of course I find things in them cause I always do, but at least they're not expensive. I love this bakery. It's called Bread and Banjo, I think. And they have vegan scones, which are good for me since I can't really have dairy. And they also have this little system where you can buy an extra item. And then if someone comes in, they can take one of the cards and that like pays for it, which I thought was nice. Um, I just walked to Orma Park and I took my coffee and scone with me. It was really nice. It was like a lemon and poppy seed one. And um, yeah, like the flowers were coming out. It's nice to see them blooming now. It just feels like it's been a really long winter and it's just nice to see some color again. These are the bikes that you can kind of hire and you can cycle and drop them off at different parts of Belfast. And there were lots of daffodils that greeted me whenever I walked in. It was a really beautiful morning and I didn't want to kind of waste the day inside. So yeah, I had kind of made a point of picking a park to go to and um, yeah, that kind of influenced my decision of where I went as well. There's something about this park that always reminds me of Paris. I don't know why, maybe it's the trees or the layout of it but um yeah whenever I'm in it I never really feel like I'm in Belfast um and it was really quiet there were only a couple of dog walkers there um it was still quite early in the day so I kind of got the place to myself I ended up going and wandering looking for like a picnic table and walked through what was basically a swamp which was kind of funny and my feet ended up all like covered in mud um which is like something my kids would usually do and they weren't even there um, and then I I found a little sunny spot eventually and um, there were like crows that were, had kind of joined me because I think they knew straight away that I had food as soon as they like saw the paper bag in my hand. So they were waiting like hopeful for crumbs. Um, yeah, and I just like, I didn't even read. I just sat and looked around and looked at the sky and like just thought for a while and it really helped. I like when there's a dedication on a bench you're sitting on to someone. It kind of makes you wonder about the person. Um, this is just like the coffee and the scone that I got. Um, and I just kind of watched the trees moving for a while. There was something really peaceful about it. And especially the ones in the distance that they kind of, I don't even know what kind of trees they are, but it was like they were kind of moving around a lot like they were dancing and then this is just the crow after it whenever I was going I left him my crumbs and then I just like got a video I thought it was funny and then um this is just my walk back towards the car um I got a couple of like dresses and I had parked kind of behind the street so I just walked along the street and I like the houses on it um I've always kind of wanted to live in this area I think it's kind of expensive to live in though um, and I just like the fact that everybody has added little like individual touches to their own gardens like bunting and just like different plants and it looks like well cared for and um, then at the weekend on Saturday evening I took the girls to Belfast Equinox and this is the first year that it had ever been on and I had just randomly found it online and um, I didn't hear anything about it so I was kind of surprised there were so many people there I don't know where they found out about it and um, this is just outside the Titanic building and um, we just kind of parked nearby and then walked to it we'd already had something to eat so we didn't get the girls just got an ice cream later on um, and they had like lots of little like vans selling food and then they had like face painting for kids and craft tables for them which were all free and they had like live music and dances and different performances and people in costumes and it reminded me of the Mela which we went to last summer in Botanic Gardens and I just love the atmosphere of that it's like it just feels like you're at a festival 
and it's really chilled out and like everybody it just seems like everybody's in a really good mood when they're there um these are just some of the little tents that had the crafts and things in it um the girls quickly spotted the face painting but then they they got uh, distracted by the henna because they they had seen me get it before and they wanted to get it too um and then I just thought the sky was really nice at this time of the day we would rarely go out at this time at all um especially to like Titanic quarter but I just think there's something really pretty about it around like before sunset like I just love looking at the sky and the views around there and um these are some of the musicians um and they were playing like traditional music I just thought the light looked really beautiful on the water as well and um, I really like going to things like this where you don't really know what you're going to find when you get there and you just figure it out as you go. It just feels like you're on holiday and you're kind of exploring and wandering and just seeing like how the day ends up turning out and it's usually at times like that I find you make like the best memories. After that we walked over towards the stage to see what was happening on it and the girls were really excited when they saw those like fire torches at it and they couldn't believe that it was actual fire and then they got excited about the elephants too. We had seen them before in the summer in Botanic Gardens so it felt like a similar kind of vibe to that um, and then this is just one of the performers. My daughter said that she really wanted to sit on the knee of this like figure and that she would have a really good view of the stage then and I think that's the only thing that would have kept her standing still because she always quickly moves on to something else. And the girls always love sitting in these wee seats and I think they're kind of nicely positioned like if you were out with like a friend or something just for sitting and having a chat um, and then we just watched some of the like dancers getting ready for the performance and they had really nice costumes and the girls were like admiring them and then um, we just went for a walk to the craft area while we were waiting. There was a man who was juggling fire, which the girls were really impressed by. And I was too. Like, I don't know how he keeps throwing it and doesn't burn himself or drop it sooner. Um, it must take a lot of practice. And yeah, I just loved these costumes. I would wear that like on a regular day, just wandering about. Um, it probably wouldn't be much stranger than some of my regular clothes. And then... Um, yeah, we just wandered back over and the girls went to a tent where they made these little hats. Um, it was like suns and moons and they had like little flowers and you could kind of do your own version of it however you wanted. So they were happy with those. And um, then we went back round to the stage and watched some of the dancers. This was probably one of the girls' favourites. It was a Chinese lion dance. I don't know when it's a dragon and when it's a lion, but they called it a lion, so I'm just going to go with that. And uh, the girls were kind of like, they were really interested, but also kind of backed off as soon as it came up close to them. I kept telling them it was like dancers inside, but I don't think they would fully believe me. And um, it was funny, like then it started to throw like um, fortune cookies at all of the kids over the barrier and they were all really excited. And after that, it kind of escaped and ran off through the crowd, which I found really funny. 
and um, these are just some of the views on our walk back to the car and every time I come here I kind of make a note that I have to come more often because it's actually only like a seven minute drive from our house or something and thanks for watching and joining us in our adventures see you soon bye